Hey there everybody, it's Luke from Sunny Robotics and today we're gonna bend some titanium. Here we have some eighth inch titanium and we gotta get a pretty gnarly bend on this. So what we're gonna do is get it real hot with a propane torch. We're gonna stick it inside this arbor press here where we're using two shaft collars to get the bend uh, shape that we want. So hopefully we'll get this real hot. We'll stick it in here and then we'll come down with the arbor press and we'll get the shape we want. But uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. a little bit better but not enough still So it looks like we got the uh, the center bend, and I think actually we just need to do the sides a little bit more. I think the sides are what's missing currently from the bend, so I think I just need to heat up uh, these outside uh, where I can see where the heat is concentrated. I need to go a little bit farther away from the center on both sides, and I think once I get these side pieces as hot as the center, I think I'll get the, the final bend that I want. So this just takes a lot of time, a lot of heat. Hey there everyone, it's Luke, and it's day two of bending titanium. Uh, we left off yesterday with a piece of titanium bent. Uh, it came out okay, um, but I think we need to bend it a little more. So we have more heat. We are switching from a propane tank to this MAP Pro mixed in with oxygen. Uh, it's a cutting torch, so should be able to get this thing real hot, a lot hotter than the propane. Um, so we're gonna get the titanium real real hot and then we're gonna take it over to the arbor press again This time I've put a cheater stick cheater stick on the arbor press same arbor press bigger lever So we should be able to get more crunching power. So let's see how that goes. Yeehaw!
All right, we're back. So we just replaced the arbor press with just the uh, bench vise. What we're gonna do now is try to get the second and third bends into this piece. Uh, so I think I can do all this. I, can, um, I should be able to form this by hand with enough heat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to get a ton of heat in this one fairly concentrated spot um, and then just kind of give it pressure as it gets warmer and try to get the bend we need on this side. And then we're gonna flip it around, try to do the same with this side. I think I'm going to try to start this off using just the propane torch. Um, I think I can probably get this hot enough if we're just doing a small concentrated area. So the propane is a little bit easier to work with uh, than the other setup that I just got, mostly because that requires a bunch of fine tuning. Um, and this is pretty, this is more straightforward. So we're going to try this. And if this doesn't work, then we'll go back to the, uh, the oxygen assisted flame. <laughs> That actually bent, that bent a lot easier than I thought it would. Um, and I'm actually hitting uh, the vice handle here. I'd like to probably bend it a little bit more, um, but I'm kind of stuck here. So um, we're just gonna let this cool here for a quick minute, and then we're gonna flip it around and try to do the other side. Okay, we got the part flipped around. We're gonna try to do the same bend. And I think ultimately the goal is to try to have all these holes parallel. So these holes are supposed to line up here. So I'm just, just going to get it real hot in the same spot as before. And then I'm going to try to bend it down and try and get it close to, you know, see if these holes come close to lining up. And then we can try to tweak it a little bit later. So I think we just about got it. Um, that looks pretty good. 